<laughs> How long have I been making commentaries on this channel now? I started, I started like mid Black Ops 4 to the end of Black Ops 4. Somewhere in there is when we started. And in every single one of those videos, you guys are watching my gameplay. You never see me hopping like that, man. The odd, odd time, like once in a blue moon type of shit. You'll see me jump down like a flight of stairs or something, man. Or I might, I might get caught. I'm like one off a high streak. I might get caught in a shitty situation and you guys will see me, but I don't have a scuff or anything. I don't, I don't have, like, I don't use the bumpers and all that shit to bunny hop, man. I'm literally moving my thumb off my analog stick to the X button or the A button on Xbox to jump to try to save my streak in that moment because I got caught into some shit. We know how intricate and complex the skill-based matchmaking is, the EO matchmaking, the matchmaking that's in Call of Duty. We know how bad it is, man. This shit is thick as hell. This is thick as molasses. We know it's bad. But what I don't understand is, why do I always see these crusty, fluffy, weirdo nerds in my lobbies? It's the same thing with the snipers, dude. Like, we just straight up, pretty much, full time. ARs and SMGs on this side, but like in every lobby, dude, I'm always up against snipers. They're running around with the best shotguns in the game, or they're laying prone in the ass crack of the map, picking people off. I just, I, I don't get it, dude. It's like you're supposed to be playing against clones of yourself, but I, I got all these little weirdo nerds in here with the bunny skins and everything else and they're just hopping around like they love this shit even though they didn't seem like they were very good i don't know how they landed in my lobby like the dude with the one shot pistol yo the one shot pistols in this game are a problem man and i'm running into the more and more the more i play which is why i'm playing a little bit less but the, dude the one shot pistol is good. you can't have a gun that's capable of aiming down sight like that with that type of mobility that can one shot people you just can't have it man you can't there needs to be balance there for every other weapon class in the game you can't have it these one shot pistols are a fucking joke man they got the balance the gun balance in this game is a joke but these dudes they weren't really good especially in that second clip you guys can tell man these these nerds like they don't have the gun skill they just they have the hop they're trying to shock their opponent they're trying to break your aim assist a little bit that's all they got is hot man i'll never find it not funny these nerds can't shoot their gun without hopping and you watch these streamer gameplays and you got other commentators and shit like that and everything they can't move without hopping man it's just dude it's uh it's so weird compared to what we know from call of duty before like what we grew up with what we fell in love with man it's just such a different breed of call of duty player nowadays and they're so fucking cringe and toxic as hell thank god the leader the king of these fluffy crusty little weirdo nerds is gone in just over a week that's right bobby kodak he put out his little farewell his little memo to all all his employees just what yesterday or today he sent out his little cheesy ass memo saying goodbye to everybody he's gone on the 29th this motherfucking cancer is gone on the 29th and I can't wait, man, because Call of Duty has been getting worse and worse since he's been running the ship. Let's be real here. Like, Call of Duty was in a way better state when it was, uh, what was his name running Activision before that for Call of Duty? I think it was Hirschberg, Eric Hirschberg or something, like Aaron Hirschberg or something. I don't remember, man, but Call of Duty was way better when he was running Activision. Ever since Bobby the Little Nerdlet took over, yo, this shit's been going downhill every single year, and we've been talking about it because it's frustrating, right? We love the foundation of call of duty and these fucking assholes keep ruining it on us man now is it going to drastically change with microsoft i don't know bro apparently now they got to report to some dude on xbox named matt booty or something like that legendary last name by the way but yeah they got to everybody at activision got to report to this matt booty guy or something like that so we'll we'll see what happens man apparently most of the structure of Act activision stays the same there's going to be a few that leave following Bobby Kodak within the coming months. There's going to be a few more that dip, which is which is good, man. The, the more that leaves, the better at this point. But pretty much the structure stays the same just now. They report to this Matt Booty Xbox guy. So we'll see what happens, man. We can't expect any huge changes right away as soon as the takeover is legit and Bobby is gone. But we should start to see something, man. Let's hope Microsoft has the best intentions 
for Call of Duty, man, because we're, we're tired of the bullshit, dude. We know Phil Spencer and Microsoft got to make some money back. You guys just put up $70 billion for Activision, right? We know you need to make that money back. We get it, all right? But you don't need to go as hard as Activision was going under Bobby Kodak. You can chill out with a couple of things, man. You could give us a more completed game and, and loosen up on the bundles just a little bit, man. Does it really matter if you sell, like, 10 extra bundles a month or some shit? Who cares, bro? You're talking about a full-price game here that is monetized like a free-to-play. Enough's enough of the bullshit, dude. We get it. You need to make your money back. That's fine. Just... Try to come up with a better way, man. Fuck this Bobby Kodak vision with all these pink bunny skins and Nicki Minaj and Kevin Durant. You got these little anime bundles where the operator is dancing to a screen with all these hearts up and these feminine ass music and shit. Like all these beta male, but like these beta males just eat this shit up. Fuck all this shit, bro. We're playing a modern war game. We want to feel like we're playing a modern military shooter, man. We're not talking about realism with the gameplay, but you're completely breaking our immersion with this toxic bullshit, man. This beta male nonsense. Get it out of our game, man. There is a better way. But speaking of a better way, it was just leaked yesterday from Insider Gaming. They got the scoop on Call of Duty 24 and Call of Duty 25. Apparently, both Black Ops titles... Now, we know Treyarch was dropping their joint with four years this time. It's the first time they ever had four years, even though Activision has been taking them off to help out with rank, to help out with zombies, with all these different games and shit. Treyarch still had four years for this joint, Black Ops Golf War or whatever it's going to be called. Apparently, this is also going to be pretty much like a new and original game. And then we're jumping into Black Ops 25. So it's going to be Sledgehammer Games running that game kind of like very similar to what they're doing with modern warfare deuce and hat but the difference is treyarch is not no bitch ass infinity ward so even though sledgehammer games is gonna have to run some decisions through treyarch and all that like they had to do with infinity war with modern warfare deuce and half treyarch actually listens to the community treyarch promotes movement in their gameplay and they try to do what's best for the game and the community this is why i've always gravitated more towards treyarch call of duties man treyarch just typically makes games i like to play i just i enjoy treyarch call of duties way more than the other studios so with treyarch having the final say on a lot of decisions with this game we already know that a lot of the right decisions are going to be made with call of duty 2025 black ops whatever it's going to be called it's supposed to be set in the year 2030 it's a direct sequel to black ops 2 and at first apparently they were going to go with all remastered Black Ops 2 maps like they did with Modern Warfare Deuce and Half with the launch of that game with all OG MW2 maps. They were going to do that with all the Black Ops 2 maps, but now they're going to give us a mix. It's going to be a bunch of Black Ops 2 remastered maps and some new ones as well. Apparently, it's been rumored they're also bringing back the Pick 10. So, I mean, it, it sounds like... It, Feels like a win, right? We'll have to say, listen, man, I don't know if this is going to save Call of Duty. Like I said, Treyarch is my favorite studio for Call of Duty. Microsoft taking, like, if we're talking a direct sequel in 25, right? To Black Ops 2, but it's like kind of a Black Ops 2 remaster as well with significantly loosened skill-based matchmaking and removing that fucking engagement optimizer. Get that the fuck out of our faces. If we're talking about a Call of Duty like that, we could we could be in business man we could really have something with that game we're gonna have to see man i don't know it sounds good right it looks good a lot of us love black ops 2 one of my favorite call of duties of all time man I just, a black ops 2 remaster i was just talking about this on twitter just the other day a black ops 2 fully remastered for new gen with loosened skill-based matchmaking and no eo matchmaking that like you want to talk about making bank man that's how you make money it sounds good it looks good I guess only time's gonna tell, man. We're gonna have to see what Microsoft's vision is for Call of Duty and how much control they take of this franchise. We just don't know yet, man. We're gonna have to wait and see. But I'm running out of time. That's all I got for this one. I was gonna talk about the new update we got for all these holiday maps and modes and all that shit. Maybe I'll save that for the next video. Let me know if that's something you guys wanna see. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you on that next one.